At the time of a real estate sale, any manufactured home should be inspected by a licensed home inspector. And if the manufactured home loan is insured by the FHA or the VA, the home's foundation must meet requirements established by HUD, another government agency. In addition to performing full home inspections, King of the House can provide HUD permanent foundation inspections. An on-site inspection for HUD compliance involves gathering data that will be reviewed and analyzed by a structural engineering firm. The HUD inspection assesses the sufficiency of footings including thickness and depth below the frost line. In a related matter, any concrete block piers must be properly positioned and secured so they will not settle or be subject to frost heave. Tie downs need to be anchored to footings to safeguard against uplift or overturning the result of wind, flooding or earthquakes. The crawl space must be enclosed with a suitable material that will protect against water intrusion or vermin entry. A crawl space has to be accessible. At least 12 inches of space under chassis beams and 18 inches under wood floor joists, the view of which is usually obstructed by the bottom board. Crawl spaces require ventilation, typically provided by screened foundation vents along perimeter walls. The home steel chassis must be left in place, but the towing hitch or running gear, including tongue, axles, brakes, and wheels, must be removed. The lot and site have to be sloped or graded, so runoff water is directed away from the home. Unfortunately, serious structural issues are often discovered at the time of an inspection. And make no mistake about it, many existing or older manufactured home foundations will not meet HUD requirements. Any individual considering the purchase of a manufactured home is encouraged to contract for a full home inspection. Numerous problems, not necessarily structurally related, may be revealed in the course of an inspection at a manufactured home. Frequently seen maladies include defective and recalled siding and trim, infestation by wood-destroying organisms or vermin, recalled plumbing pipes or leaks, roof issues including leaks, faulty or leaky windows, outside structures improperly attached to the manufactured home, and unsafe wiring.